afternoon on this Tuesday. I'm Gio Benitez and here are the top five stories buzzing online right now. Coming in at number five, Jill Duggar Dillard and hubby Derek have welcomed their baby boy named Israel David. The Duggar family proudly announced the news on Facebook, revealing that Israel arrived on Monday evening, a week and a half past his due date. Both mom and baby are doing well, with Israel weighing in at 9 pounds and 10 ounces and measuring 23 inches in length. Congratulations to Jill and Derek. Coming in at number four right now, it's a big day for Don McLean fans. It's the day the music sold, with the singer-songwriter's original American Pie manuscript selling for $1.2 million at auction. Written a long, long time ago, the 16-page draft is also said to hold the clue to what the song really means, something McLean has always been silent about. He did drop a few hints for prospective buyers in the Christie's auctions catalog, uh, calling it a morality song about the decline of American culture. Let's hope the new owner decides to share the big secret sometime soon, huh? And coming into number three right now, John Cryer has revealed that he dated Demi Moore before his Two and a Half Men co-star Ashton Kutcher. Cryer shared his surprise dating history in his new memoir, So That Happened, explaining uh, that he and Moore dated around the same time they starred together in the movie No Small Affair. Now that might have been 30 years ago, way before Moore and Kutcher were married, but it still made for a strange moment between the Two and a Half Men co-stars, with Cryer telling Entertainment Tonight that their first meeting was, quote, awkward. I bet it was. I bet it was. Coming in at number two right now, John Legend could be looking to add another Oscar to his collection. The singer-songwriter is producing a new film which is said to be a musical romantic drama. According to Variety, production will begin in September in Philadelphia, with Grammy winner Miguel possibly starring in the lead role as a former one-hit wonder who rediscovers his passion for music while coaching an aspiring star. Sounds like music to fans' ears. Stay tuned for more on that one. And coming in at number one right here, the author and photographer behind that famous Underwater Puppies has a brand new book, Underwater Babies. Oh, this is awesome. Seth Castiel worked with swim schools around the country, photographing more than 750 gorgeous babies aged from four to 17 months as they took part in their first swimming lesson. Look at that. Each little one, oh, I love that. Each little one brought their own style and flair. Whether it was a mermaid costume like that right there, a cape even, or just a big smile underwater. That's right. Seth hopes his work uh, will encourage parents to teach their kids to swim from an early age. Be sure to tune in to GMA for more pop news tomorrow. For ABC News, I'm Gio Benitez here in New York. Have a great day.